Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we are at Disneyland to share with you everything that you need to know about Magic Band Plus. So let's get going. So how does Magic Band Plus work? When you pull it out of the box, it comes with a USB charging cable on the back. The Magic Band charges using two contact leads that connect when snapping the Magic Band into the holder. Then just plug the other end into a standard USB charger and you're good to go. We just purchased Amy's Magic Band. I purchased mine the other day, and then we're gonna purchase hers and, and upload it and you know link it and everything here for you on camera. But I did just find out that you can't uh, use your Magic Band to get your Magic Key discount just yet. They said that it will be coming a little bit later on in this year. I guess they don't have the scanning functionality uh, right now to use your Magic Band as your Magic Key discount. One of the best places to buy Magic Band Plus is gonna be World of Disney in Downtown Disney. If you are coming and you wanna get a Magic Band Plus before you go into the park, but you don't wanna order it ahead of time for whatever reason, or you wanna see what's available here in the parks, uh, World of Disney is the place where you wanna go as soon as you get onto property. You're gonna work your way to the very back of the store, and then you're gonna turn left over here. And right here at this wall is one of the largest selections of Magic Band Plus you're gonna find. They've got loads of Star Wars bands, Avengers bands, Pixar bands, Mickey and Friends bands, Disneyland bands, not, <laughs> not like the Disneyland band that plays with trumpets, <laughs> um, but just tons and tons of options here for Magic Bands. They also have this rack, which just has plain colors. It's, it's not as exciting as some of the more um, fancy ones, but this, these ones are also gonna be cheaper because of that. Here is the pricing, and the slate is with the ones that Amy and I got, and that was from that first wall you saw, but these ones are sage, and so they're the $34.99, and again, that's just because they have lack of specific colors. Additionally, just about every store inside Disneyland has a small selection of magic bands as well. My band is doing something that buzz, and I don't know why. This is really cool. At Haunted Mansion, as you're on your way out, it beats red like a heartbeat to prove that you're still alive. That's pretty awesome. Magic Band Plus is so cool. It interacts with the rides. It's amazing. We found the first one when we were on Buzz Lightyear, and it was like, what's my wrist doing? I'm playing a game, and it's lighting up and going crazy. I thought, honestly, I, yeah, I... <laughs> I thought that I had gotten like some sort of special score or something. Uh, Amy just distracted her. She only yeah. got like 60,000 points. I was points. like, well, that's good. You're like, look, 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 look. And so I put my little shooter thing down. And it's like, oh, man, I just killed my score. <laughs> uh, but on Haunted Mansion, it pulses red like you have a heartbeat. Um, I've read that it also interacts with Guardians of the Galaxy as you get off the ride. Uh, Soren as you get off the ride. Uh, and I feel like I read it interacts with a couple other rides as well that I might have missed, but we were walking the wrong way. <laughs> uh, I don't know what other rides it interacts with, but um, it's really cool that if you have Magic Band Plus on, it vibrates, pulses colors, does really fun things in some of the rides. Right now we're going to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge so that we can engage in the Batu Bounty Hunters game, which is also a Magic Band Plus interactive game that I'm really looking forward to. To play Batu Bounty Hunters here in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, you are going to need the Play Disney Parks app. You'll have to download that. That's separate from the Disneyland app. You download the Play Disney Parks app. It's actually useful throughout the park for many different things. It seems really fun. You could get like achievements unlocked and that sort of thing. So if you enjoy that, like I really do, I'm actually really intrigued to come back like by myself someday uh, and just try to play all the things on the Play Disney Parks app. Maybe put a video together on what you can do on the Play Disney Parks app. Everything in the entire park, well, we'll see. It told us to go to the bounty board and showed us where it was located because that was my question, like where am I supposed to go to start this? So I just opened the Play Disney Parks app, found the Bounty Hunters game, and then it told me where to go. So that's what we're working our way towards right now. So where some characters meet right here, this is the Bounty Hunter board. So we're gonna have to figure out how to work this thing. Tap your band below to accept a job. If it's green, it's good. Um, and then purple means you located the target. Tap a magic band on your mobile device to activate the thermal viewer. So you have to use, like I said, the Play Disney Parks app. 
So go ahead and... Did you get something? Did it work? Yeah, it's glowing green. It's glowing green. Can't really see it very well, but... Oh, uh, green. There you go. Sorry, not at this time. All right, well, my band is just uh, like pulsing and I guess we just have to keep walking some direction. Uh, it pulses short vibrations if we're heading in the right direction and really long red vibrations if we're going the wrong way. So we're just gonna, I guess, walk around and, until we find where we're supposed to go. It's currently flashing red right now and you really can't tell. I can feel the pulse though. It's constantly pulsing in the pulse that's the red pulse to tell me I was going the wrong way. Now it's flashing green and it's flashing in a faster pulse. So I think I'm getting closer. We're gonna walk up here and see if maybe we're, we need to go up here into the shopping area. Now it's going even crazier, like absolutely going crazy. I must be getting really close now. Boba Fett. So one of the cast members said that I need to scan at one of these types of things. So, nope, that one's red. Let's scan here. Oh, here we go. I got purple. Now I need to open the app. Well, we managed to find Amy's uh, over by the bathroom. Mine was right next to the eye in the, the water the water tank. Um, but now that we found both of our targets, we are we have to go back to the bounty board and report the target to get points, I guess. So right over there is the bounty board, and this is the door that we have to come to right here. Amy's gonna stick her wrist in there. I see you found the first bounty. Not bad, but you'll need to collect a lot more One bounty to join collected. the Bounty Hunters Guild. Here are your credits. 900 credits. We were scanning our vans, but before we scanned ours, the girl in front of us had collected 17 bounties already. It's like, whoa, you've been doing this a lot. So it's I don't know probably that, over the course of a couple of visits. It's probably over the course of time, like however long you have the band probably is my guess. Yeah. So we're really behind. Well, we only have one bounty have each. One. Um, anyway, once we got back, like once we've done it and now we know what to do, I think it'll be easier. But as a first time, like I didn't realize it was going to send us to two totally different areas. Like I'm used to scavenger hunts where everyone does the same thing. In the same order. In the same order. Yeah. It's not that. Mine was clear on the other side of Galaxy's Eggs than his. I could see myself wanting to do that from, you know, like every time we visit, just get one bounty and still slowly, steadily build up our, our bounty hunting just for fun. So what else is Magic Band Plus useful for? Well, you can use it at any US Disney resort. That means Disneyland, Walt Disney World, uh, Aulani, and it is coming soon to the Disney Cruise Line. The same Magic Band will work at all those locations. You will have to download the specific locations app though. Even Aulani has a specific Aulani app for you to download to use. You'll have to load your Magic Band on each of those apps in order to use them in those specific parks. Magic Band Plus will let you scan into the parks. It'll let you scan in for lightning lanes. It interacts with rides, as you've already seen. It lets you play uh, games from the Play Disney Parks app, which you've already seen. But it also interacts with the nighttime spectaculars here. So Fantasmic tonight, we're going to it. We're gonna see how the Magic Band interacts with Fantasmic. Uh, additionally, the Magic Band Plus allows you to interact with the Disney 100 medallions. There's some medallions around. As soon as we exit the park here in just a minute, we're going to interact with one of those medallions. We're going to see what happens. So supposedly Magic Bands are supposed to interact with the platinum statues. So Amy is going to wave her wrist around. I don't know if it's going to interact at all. This one might not. So I'm just going to look like an idiot over here. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> If it didn't work, oh well, it didn't work. I don't think it's, yeah. So the <laughs> platinum statue in downtown Disney is supposed to work. Okay. But I, it said platinum statues in general, so yeah. it didn't work. It lit up, oh, it's sparkling. I don't know if you can even see it sparkling really. Yeah, that's just something we need to do at night. So we'll be back. Go ahead, just go ahead and do it. Oh, there we go. 
Irish Magic Band is collectible and customizable. They come with different lights for each different band that you get that you can program it to do. And then they're fun to collect because there's tons of different designs. You can also change out the pucks. If you unscrew the backs of these, you can take the puck and transfer them from one band to the other. Additionally, they're, they can be shortened for kids, but be aware that once you punch this out, you cannot put it back. So if you tear that out, it's permanently a kid's magic band from that point forward. Uh, Amy has a small wrist and she can technically fit on the kids. Yeah, I could technically punch mine out because that's where I'm at. I'm on like the last two poles but it's really hard to put on when it's the kids one because you can't really get enough leverage to do it yourself ding 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 each magic band as far as i'm aware except for the ones that are just like sort of plain colors uh, have unique color sequences that they come pre-built with now you can change that in the app to different colors if you just want you know green or red or blue or something like that but there are no multiple color combinations except for the ones that come preloaded on the band of choice for you. Magic Band Plus is still waterproof. And to get the full capabilities out of Magic Band Plus, you need to keep it fully charged. The charge is good for one to three days, depending on how much you use it. I can see if you use it for Bounty Hunter a lot, it's gonna drain your battery fast. It was constantly pulsing on my wrist the entire time I was playing the game. So it's actively draining the battery. But if the battery dies, you can still use Magic Band Plus, just like a regular old Magic Band if you're familiar with Walt Disney World. You can use it to get into the parks, to scan into fast passes, that sort of thing. The RFID in the tag still works, even if the band is dead. All that really you miss out on are the vibrations and the lights that interact with the rides. You won't be able to interact with like the Disney 100 medallions and things like that. Awesome seeing the magic bands interact with both Fantasmic and Wondrous Journeys. I loved that. I didn't catch it on camera, but the magic bands were interacting with Bruno over there. I was kind of disappointed in the medallion interactions, but the on-ride interactions and the nighttime spectaculars were awesome. I was about to say, awesome. Fantasmic and Wondrous Journey was yeah. really fun. Because it's like, ooh, ooh, it's glowing. Yeah. And, and then we were walking by Small World when um, we don't talk Bruno, about Bruno. Bruno, yeah, Bruno on, did and, it. And like, my, our things start buzzing green. It's like, ooh, what's going on? Well, that pretty much ends this video for Magic Man Plus. I have no idea what this video is going to turn out like. It, it may be a hot mess, but I wanted to show you the things that you could do with Magic band plus and some things that we can be looking forward to uh from magic band plus in the future i'm glad to have bought one we we used to get them all the time going to walt disney world i'm excited they've made their way out here to disneyland i know i'm like six months too late and jumping on this train but we're going to alani and they do magic band plus so that's why we just decided to bite the bullet buy some magic band plus and i thought i'd show you a video about what you can do with them here at Disneyland. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the like and subscribe button. And I don't know what they're doing over there. They got leaf blowers over there or something. All I know is leading um, to this music is like sentimental. <laughs> I know. We go on the Illuminations ending music and we're leaving. Uh, it's like 
Oh, we should be in Epcot right yeah, now. I know. <laughs> uh, anyhow, like I said, this video is going on way too long. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.